Are you collecting a bunch of data that you would like to memorize? Do you want to keep doing all your editing in one place, but also be able to learn the information using good quality electronic flashcards? If so, and if your editing software can save your data as XML, then maybe Sync from XML, or Sync XML for short, will be able to help. It is an add-on for the popular flashcard tool Anki, and it's written in Python. For example, if you have dictionary data in We Say or Flex that you would like to use in language learning flashcards, it may be worth it for you to set up a one-way sync from your Lyft file to Anki. Again, Anki is one of the leading flashcard programs today and is both free and open source. Sync XML is a little add-on written for Anki that can pull data in from a straightforward XML file, such as the Lyft file in this example. Once things are set up, we say users can update their flashcards with one click. Flex users have one extra step of first doing an export or send receive to Lyft to the same location each time. Note that these are one-way arrows. Here is a quick demo using an Anki card deck that's already been set up. I can practice with the various flashcards, and Anki will keep track of how soon I need to review each card. For example, if I found this word to be easy, then it would show it to me again in four days. After I've been doing this for a while, the easy will be a matter of weeks, and the good might be a matter of days, and it expands from there as you learn the cards better. Here's one that happened to have a picture, and here's another one, this time the other way around. The Sync from XML add-on preserves this card information that Anki maintains, but it will overwrite the actual data fields that you maintain. So don't do any serious editing in Anki for any deck that Sync XML is pulling data into. If I sync now, Nothing is brought in because nothing has been changed in the source XML file. Now I'll edit a couple of records in Flex, updating some glosses and adding some audio recordings. Punte Folon And you can see here the files were created. Since I'm in Flex rather than We Say, I need to also export to Lyft now. And I will overwrite the existing file. Now when I run the sync from Anki's Tools menu, it will pick up the changes and report. So in this case it updated to, left 12 unchanged, and it copied two media files. That gave us a brief summary of what was done, but if you want to look at the detailed log file, you can go to the Anki folder under Documents, under Add-ons, Sync XML, and look at the log file to see the details. By the way, the log file will be overwritten the next time you sync unless you make a copy of it. Although Sync from XML is still experimental software, feel free to use it with your real dictionary files. The only data it modifies is on the Anki side of things, so as long as you don't do any mission-critical editing in a synced deck in Anki, you should be fine. So that's Synchrom XML, an add-on for Anki. Thanks for watching.